When YouTube money is big enough, <laughs> money, money, my job, I'll just kid you. Uh -uh. everyone welcome to today's video as you can see today's video I have my husband and <clears throat> we have some food right over here and we're going to be talking about how YouTube um, breaks up marriages how it can break up a marriage if you let it do that uh, but before we start you guys are wondering we got this food from Dora Suya girl off of the Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna put our details on the screen But first of all, let's look at what we have here and I'll tell you more information about it right here We have some Suya meat sticks over here and we also have some kidney and we have some gizzard a mixture of kidney and gizzard and you can see they're all on steak these are well seasoned well spiced and it's made with different kind of spices so we got this delivered to us it came right on time so within three days the packing the packaging was really well packaged and preserved really well now this contains peanuts so if you guys are allergic to peanut just keep that in mind uh, i love the spices and also it came with these spices that you can add on top of it and it smells really good i wish you guys could smell it right here and this is what it looks like it is grilled with spices this is like a northern nigerian spices and over here is the masa rice cake i've never had rice cakes before so i'm quite excited to taste it if you guys want more details about this please go on instagram go to dora suya girl i'm gonna also add in more information that she has and i'm also going to do uh we're gonna do a taste test okay so keep on watching we are here and we're gonna do a taste test of this before we get into our discussion so we have the suya let me get a knife so we're taking the suya meat right over here suya suya so we're gonna first test out the suya meat to see how it tastes if you guys haven't subscribed what do you want them to do subscribe subscribe <laughs> so this is our official first mukbang mm. You know what a mukbang is. So, did you want any spices? Let's uh, no, no, We're gonna first taste it without the spices, right? Without the spices. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's not bad. It's really good. Mmm. It's not one thing about me is that salt. It's not too salty. Mmm. It's just perfectly. Let me give you a little bit of the. Let's let me cut the rice cake. It's not bad. Though. Yeah, we're gonna cut the rice cake. Here's the rice cake. The rice cake has like a puffy kind of look to it, kind of puffy. Mm. Give you some of the rice cake. My kids were like, "Is that pancake?" <laughs> so we're gonna try the rice cake. Mm. I like him. Mm. You cut it? Okay. Yeah. I think I will. Mm. Mm. It's really it's soft and gooey in the middle and chewy. The rice cake is chewy. So this is masa. Mm. It's good. This is not bad at all. So if you want to add more spiciness to it, you can add some of this spice. So I'm going to add a little bit of the spice just to see how it tastes with the spice. Just a little bit. I don't even think you need that spice. Mm -mm. She really spices it up really well. I mean, it depends on it's perfect. individual taste too. I think so. Mm. And we're downing it with some, this is um, grapefruit. This is good. So one thing about YouTube, let's talk about YouTube. 
one thing about YouTube that you should know is especially when you have a spouse and um, your spouse is someone that maybe they are not really into YouTube maybe they didn't want you to start YouTube at the beginning you all have to understand that when you are doing YouTube and you have a family it's not just you and a lot of mistakes that people make is that they say oh and i want to start we'll make money and this but they don't think about the other person's privacy so i'm gonna we're gonna share our own experience how youtube could have destroyed our marriage if we had let it and youtube is destroying some people's marriage the messages i get where people are like oh my husband doesn't want me to do this oh but this day we're arguing every day because of youtube it shouldn't be like that so let me tell you our experience we started youtube back in 2000 and 12 11 12 and so just here you remember yeah. and i think the first thing that he said was that just like don't show the kids face or something and we didn't show the kids face initially but it's kind of hard yeah mm -hmm. don't show the kids face they their don't name. use their name mm -hmm. you know we're using big c's little c's you know, mm -hmm. just to make it stand out. Mm -hmm. And we use the man. And the man. Mm -hmm. So we didn't use names until, I think it was until 2015. No, 2016? Yeah, yeah. Around 2016, that was when we started using name, and that was because we were going for events. We were going to VidCon, we were going to events where people will know us as in general light. So we started using names and that was the only reason why. But the key thing about this that I feel with YouTube, let's get the kidney. Let's let's split a little. So this is the kidney and the gizzard. So yeah, we're gonna try the kidney and the gizzard. Oh my gosh, I love gi gi gizzard. You don't want to stick it, huh? Mm -hmm. Drop something. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is, I mean, this is seasoned so well. You guys, this is seasoned so well. You guys should try it. Oh my gosh. So she, um, you place your order. You contact her on Instagram. You place your order. And she ships it to you. Right? Boom, boom. To your door. To your door, people. Okay. So going back to YouTube. So it started like that. It's very good, yeah. So it started like that. So the key thing is, when you're doing YouTube, allocating time. How do you manage your family? How do you manage your spouse? How do you manage everything? Because when you're doing YouTube, YouTube is very time consuming. Yeah, you're gonna put everybody into consideration. Consideration, yes. You know, YouTube is consuming. A lot of people, what they see is the end product. Mm -hmm. You know, the packaging and everything. But there's so much that goes into it, the recording, the editing yeah and all those things take time so yeah sometimes you might have, you might think i'm gonna get the editing done in 20 30 minutes or whatever but before you know it one hour you are still trying to put things together yeah so so, mm -hmm. so that's when you know emotions get into play yeah you know, you are emotionally attached, attached to what you are doing. Mm -hmm. But the man is waiting, the kids are waiting. Hey, mommy, yeah. when are we going to eat? When are we going to do, you know, just some family time. Zero out all those filming and editing, mm -hmm. which is hard to, to get a compromise. is a little bit challenging, yeah. basically. Yeah. So you just have to watch out as an individual mm -hmm. and the good thing and the best thing is to make sure you guys in, you are in agreement before the beginning before you even start at all mm -hmm. before you even start buying camera you know ring lights and all you know mm -hmm. putting money into the whole deal mm -hmm. because if one person is not in agreement kind of you know giving you all these side comments then you know yeah it may not work exactly exactly so just be on the lookout for that yeah and i also feel like 
in our relationship sometimes when i want to do a video i will ask him like this video that we're doing right now i asked him his opinion i think two days ago and i asked him i said okay i want to do this topic are you okay with this topic i just don't put it to him and i just say, oh yeah we're recording oh yeah go and put on shirt oh yeah come let's go do this no i want his opinion when I do thumbnails, when I do video, sometimes I'll be like, oh, can you watch this? Can you see, does it, is there some parts that I need to take out? Respecting your spouse. Now, as someone that I'm the one editing, sometimes I'm the one filming, he also helps film. Like this video today, he helped to film part of it. He also helps film. And um, when I'm putting together videos and putting together, like especially when I'm doing, when I was doing a uh, vlog every day, remember that time? There was a time for about a year and a half I vlogged every single day, meaning that I wasn't bringing out the camera all the time. And that's another thing. You don't have to bring out the camera all the time. Like, oh yeah, children, especially vloggers, oh yeah, time to vlog. Let us vlog. Let us do this. Let us do that. You can plan it out and say, maybe on a Saturday, you shoot so many footage and then during the week, you just cut it. Shot, 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 shot. You don't have to put 45 minutes of video. Yeah. vlog 35 minutes you just schedule it so that during the week you have time for your family and your family don't they don't sometimes they don't even feel it i don't get sometimes that i'll record and you guys will my husband will say ah you are not recording this week and i'll be like no but he'll be seeing videos coming out so you have to respect your spouse now if your spouse is somebody that they said they don't want to be on camera don't force them i see a lot of women they'll be like oh my fans say they want to see you they want to see you don't force your husband. It is not by force. You're looking for trouble. You're looking. You pay. You know. Sometimes you want to satisfy fans, and mm -hmm. I think I've early on in the YouTube and our YouTube life relationship. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, but the spouse wants this, and my husband will say, no, nope, I don't want that. You want the fans. The fans. You know, my husband will say the fans will say they want something. And then my husband will say, oh no, we're not doing that. Uh -uh, no, no, no. What kind of you know? And I drop it. Yeah, your spouse might be saying, when are you doing this video? When are you doing this video? But you have to look out for your family because YouTube can go away like this, but your family is always there and you don't want to miss out on your children's life because you are trying to also YouTube. Okay? So, that is one of the key things. Mm. That is one of the key things. Oh, this rice cake. No, no, I like it. So, chewy. On the kidney you guys i wish you guys come and taste this sorry i can't share <laughs> are you enjoying this yeah mm -hmm. so what what advice do you have for husbands who are saying that okay so for example let's say the wife's youtube channel is booming and the wife is getting to be monetized what do you in terms of monetization because i think that's the thing key a lot of wives will say, oh, but we'll make money. Making money off of YouTube. Let me even, from his perspective, because I know from my perspective, what do you think? The money is not big, go, <laughs> you guys. It's not the small, money is not big. But? But every little thing mm -hmm. is something. Yeah. What I would say is that, as a spouse, you guys just need to communicate more. Make sure there's an understanding in place. Mm -hmm. Before you start shooting videos, before emotions start running high. Yeah. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And your kids, sometimes you want the kids in the video, but they don't want to. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just not in the mood to, you know, having cameras in their face at mm -hmm. that particular point in time. Yeah. So give them the break, you know, if you, have to, if you have to do it at another time, fine. Mm -hmm. So if you have to change the topic or just walk around it, mm -hmm. that's the best way. YouTube money is not that big, but every little change, especially in this time, time, yeah. Corona time, yeah, it helps. Yeah. Pay one or two bills. Yeah. And don't be selfish about it. I know some women. I'm like, oh, it's my money. Mm -hmm. I work hard for it. It's my money. I spend it where I want. Mm -hmm. You know, just understand that the kids and the spouse, they are supporting you. Yeah. They may not even be there in front of the camera. Yeah. 
the fact that they give you the room and the time to do your own thing, they are still supporting. Mm -hmm. So give them credit for that. Yeah, always give credit. Always give credit to your family. Even if there are times that you have to be editing and then, you know, just and before you do anything, I always... Oh, this food is so good. Before you do anything, I always say, do you need me for this? You know, that's one thing I do. If I know I'm going to spend like four hours filming, editing, I'll go to my husband and I'll say, babe, do you need me? Do you need me to cook anything for you? Do you need me to help you edit it? Do we need to go anywhere? No, oh, yeah. We yeah. Pound yam. <laughs> not all this powdered, no, real yam, no pound. I don't do that, so I don't do that. But yeah, so I always ask them, I ask the kids, I say, do you need mommy for anything? Once I know that nobody needs me for anything, uh -huh. then I spend as much time and then once in a while I'll get up, I'll check on them again. So it's, uh, and I think that's what helps us. Because if we hadn't done this, YouTube was breaking up, the relationship was breaking up the marriage if we didn't take the right step and the right move to bring life and bring understanding and bring respect you know so yeah so i and think mm -hmm. when youtube money is big enough <laughs> money my job i'll joke you ah uh -uh, okay don't mind this man no youtube money if youtube money is big enough i will hire someone to come and cook you your okay, you. your second second day still no okay, joke you. no and my fault how to use the stones no, this blender, blender. Anyway, so we are wrapping up. Okay, are you done? <laughs> I think we're gonna finish this food later because this man is enjoying. I want to say a big thank you. Hmm, this man is still enjoying this food though. Look at. Mm, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. Thank you thank so you. much. Please, please take and to thank heart. Thank you. Thank you, Dora Suya girl. Oh, this was good. This was good. I mean, ordering this and shipping, everything seamless. She's very responsive. You know, says she leaves message. You send a message to Kakia, she responds back. Please, please patronize our services. And you know, if you want to cater a party or whatever, she does everything. Please patronize her service. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video, like it, and uh, we'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.